Have you heard about the Yulin Dog Meat Festival? No. No, I haven't. It's a festival where they will like kill thousands of dogs and cats to eat oh. them. So I can already see you have a reaction. So, so what do you think? What do you think about that? Well, it disgusts me. But you know what? Yeah, that's their culture. Oh, horrific. I abhor that. I, dogs should not be eaten. I think that's crazy. But I don't know. This is probably going to be very controversial, but... I love like, controversy. <laughs> dogs, cats, and like cows and pigs, like I feel like they all should be equally treated. As much as I disagree with it, as long as I don't come here and try to eat our dogs here. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I don't agree with it. I think mm -hmm. it's cruel and, you know, no different than them when they, the slaughter bay or blood bay when they pull the dolphins in. China is a rich country. They don't need to eat dogs. They're not starving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why do you think you're against it? Because I like dogs and cats, because they're, they're pets. You know, they're not like, raised in farms or whatever. Well, because dogs are a man's best friend, they're helpless, they give you unconditional love, they are, can be fiercely loyal, mm -hmm. there's, there's absolutely no justification for killing them. Maybe this is not morally right, however, but if you want to raise animals for the purpose of food, that's one thing. If I raised Irish wolfhounds in China for delicacy, it's disgusting. It's still, it's not right. Some people say that, well, you criticize China for eating dogs, but what about in the United States? We eat other animals like cows, chickens, and pigs. Do you think that there's a moral difference in killing a dog for food and cow killing a chicken or a cow or a pig or a turkey or a goat or a fish for food? Mm, no, I think uh, if we can stay away from eating cows also, I'm, I'm all for that, and chickens. People have like emotional attachment to cats and dogs while some might, but like not a lot of people have like emotional attachment yeah, yeah, yeah. to like cows and pigs. Only vegetarians or like vegans could hypothetically criticize the people that are eating dogs and cats. You're not even comparing apples and apples. He's a pet that I have purchased to become part of my family. Mm -hmm. A herd of cattle is something I have raised to feed people. You talked about how Trevor is very loyal and he has a personality, etc., etc. Do you think that any other animal, like a chicken or a cow or a pig, do you think that they differ in, in those regards? Oh no, actually they do have feelings too. In Brazil, there, yeah. I saw a um, TV program that was presenting like a, a woman that loves yeah. like a goat. Yeah. And they are like similar as dog. The goat like climbs in the couch and watches yeah. TV with her. So I think we humans are really hypocrites to choose the, the animals that we want to love because how it looks. I think every animal has the same like uh, feelings. We shouldn't eat and none of them. And do you think that at the end of the day, being the case that all those animals are going to end up in a slaughterhouse, do you think that any animal walks willingly inside a slaughterhouse? Absolutely not. They have feelings like pigs too. I mean, they know when they're about to be slaughtered. Mm -hmm. For sure, I've heard a pig squealing when he's being slaughtered. I, I have as well. I, I'm an animal rights activist. I've been to many slaughterhouses. I've been to chicken slaughterhouses, pig slaughterhouses, cow slaughterhouses. I've looked into their eyes and they like none of them want to be there. They're suffering. Yes. Pigs, they scream. The uh, pigs do scream. Uh, yeah. The cows, they say that the cows know when they are go to like die. So. Yeah. So yeah, I've met, I've met many cows like that. They know they, they will die. But yeah, yeah, like I feel like yeah. they definitely know what's going on. They're aware of their surroundings. And yeah, they have a brain, so they possibly cannot not know. I'm not sure what cows' opinions are. I've never really seen one with a personality like a dog. And I've heard that when cows, when they're about to be killed, they know. They have that fear in them. And pigs too, that's why they howl. Some countries have resorted to inhumane, I mean uh, humane killing of pigs meaning quick, but still, you're still killing do, pigs. Do, do you think that's humane? Uh, no, 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 absolutely not. Do you think that our taste preferences are more important than an animal's life? No, I don't think so. I think this, like, if I had to, like, kill it with my own hands, I think none of us, like, the most of us wouldn't do this. Yeah. But, like, we don't see it, so it's easy for us, you know, but it's wrong. If I'm raising it to be that, yes. So it's it all. Is. So it's up to you, and the the animal's point of view essentially just doesn't matter. It's my goal to become a, a vegetarian. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I agree too. Yeah. Um, ever like when I was younger, I wanted to become a vegetarian. Yeah. Well, what exactly inspired you when you were a kid? I don't know. I oh, I saw this one video on Facebook. It was super viral at that time, 
It was, I think, a pig slaughter situation. Sure. This pig screaming just broke my heart as a child. So yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, like I don't want to do that to these animals. Well, the first step is stop eating meat. Yeah. Do, do you eat meat right now? Right now, I still do. And do you, are you thinking about stopping? Yes, absolutely. Especially, um, you know, pigs, because I, I, I can still hear their voices when they get squealed in the Philippines. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. And, uh, you know, and, and a lot of times we kind of think about this and we're like, oh, like the first step is, is to stop eating meat. But one thing that is not always very clear is that there are so many industries that exploit animals. And, and for food, we look at something like the dairy industry or the egg industry. And, you know, do, do you think that in the dairy industry or the egg industry, those chickens and cows suffer any less than the chickens and cows who are used for meat directly? Oh, no, no. It's, it, they all die deaf. I mean, that's just an indirect product. If I give you some resources to kind of learn more about this, do you think that's something you want to learn more about? Sure. I would yeah, watch it. Cool. So I wrote WatchDominion.com. So that's a website where you can see a movie that's about different industries that exploit animals. Not just like the food industry, but it'll also show you things like uh, like leather, wool, yeah. fur, down. It'll show like like animal testing. Um, and I think yeah, it's I'm a, a fashion major, so yeah, yeah. yeah and I think I think it's a it's a great place to just educate ourselves on the topic, you know. Yeah, I would love the least to find out. Okay. And then because you, you talked about the, uh, the the health problems of eating meat. Yes. What the hell? Do you have Netflix? Yes. Okay, so what the health is a documentary about that topic. I think you're going to enjoy it very very much, oh. and I think it's going to be oh. very very informative to to kind of learn more about that aspect as well. Okay. Yeah. Great. I, I'm I'm going to look at this up tonight. Thank you guys so much for talking to me. Thank Appreciate you. it so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so have much for talking to me. Well, thank you so much for talking to me, Kim. I appreciate it so much. Have a nice day. Have an incredible day. You too.